Since you've been in the position, so you've taken on the brief of farming minister, is there anything that surprised you or that you've learned about farmers and land managers? Um, I think I haven't really been aware of the tremendous diversity of agriculture and the, the innovation of farmers in, in not only uh, producing these products but also different ways they can bring money into their farming businesses. And going up and down the country, I've seen ice cream makers, I've seen cheese makers, I've seen people providing tourism opportunities. Uh, and, and all sorts of other things that you wouldn't even think of a farmer doing as a way of building uh, additional income into the, into the farming business. So, you know, British agriculture is full of optimistic people, it's full of hard-working people and committed people. And I think for that reason, agriculture, whatever politicians throw at uh, the farmers, uh, will always uh, come through on the right side. What do you think is the outlook for farming and the rural economy after Brexit? Well, as I say, I think that uh, we are committed to delivering support to farmers, but in a different way. Uh, and I think in particular, when one looks at some of the more um, marginal parts of the country, some of the moorlands, some of the um, places like around here in Cornwall, you know, those farmers, I think, are the best place amongst any farmers to be able to deliver these sort of public goods. You know, these are areas where we really need to conserve the landscape and enhance the landscape. Many of them may have a role to play, to play in reducing uh, floods, flooding on the lowlands, flooding in the town through flood alleviation schemes. So there are a number of issues that we're looking at. Indeed, we're piloting, we're going to have 300 pilots up and down the country where we can see how environmental land management will work, what works and what doesn't work. And what works we want to push forward with, and what doesn't work we need to ensure that we don't waste time and money on at the first stage. And finally from me, what would be your message to CLA members? Well, I think the message would be that uh, private land ownership is at the very core of British agriculture. And I think that, that the way that, um, that the, far the farmland is structured with owner occupiers and tenants as well gives tremendous opportunity and diversity for farmers. But there are those on the other side of the political divide who do not see that as a positive thing. And I think as a landowner myself, uh, I worry about, for example, the succession to, to my children who may want to take on the business, or indeed the way that uh, farming may be treated by any future government. Uh, be in no doubt that uh, the structure of agriculture in this country with private land ownership at the centre is one we wish to build on. Minister, thanks so much. Enjoy the show.